Hello guys, this is Suman from Decode now. Welcome to the lecture series on Python for beginners. Today we'll be learning more about numbers or integers uh, in Python. So let's jump into the next slide. So there are basically two main uh, types of numbers. One is uh, integer, which are whole numbers, and the other is floating point numbers, which are numbers with the decimal points. So few examples for uh, integers or whole numbers would be 3, 436, 520. Uh, whereas with for uh, floating point values, it would be decimal numbers like 3.14, 6.85 or 300.00. So even though 300.0 is equal to 300, but since it has a decimal point uh, followed by a zero, it, it is considered as a floating point value uh, in Python. Let's explore some basic maths in uh, Python. So coming to the Jupyter Notebook. So for this video, I'll be using Jupyter Notebook. Uh, if you want to know how to install and use Python with uh, Jupyter Notebook, there's a separate video for that in our channel. Uh, I'll mention the link in the description. Please do check it out. So let's uh, perform basic addition. Suppose I wanted to add five with five it's 5 plus 5 which is equal to 10. If I wanted to do a, sub, a subtraction, it would be 4 minus 3 which would be equal to 1 and if I wanted to do multiplication, we, we would be using the star symbol 4 star 4 which would be equal to 16 and if you wanted to do division, it would be the forward slash that is 50 slash 5 which would be dividing 50 with 5. And the answer is 10. So suppose uh, similarly, uh, there is one more uh, special character called mod operator. Uh, so using this mod operator, we can uh, find the remainder. So in high school mathematics, if you can remember, if I wanted to divide 7 with 4, my answer would not be 1.75, but rather it would be 4 ones are 4 and 3 as the remainder because 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So in order to find the remainder, we'll be using this uh, mod operator. So if I say in Python, the mod operator is the percentage symbol. So seven percentage or the mod operator four would be equal to three. So three is our remainder. So in uh, where we can use this uh, mod operator is suppose if I wanted to find out whether a number is an even number or an odd number, then we uh, this mod operator would come into use. Uh, so, so suppose I would take a number and uh, mod i would use the mod operator with uh, value 2 and if the remainder was 0 that means it is evenly or perfectly divisible by 2 then it is an even number or else if i get 1 then it would be an odd number so let's put that into test if i wanted to check whether 55 is a even number or not then okay it's not an even number it's an odd number i am getting one as the remainder suppose if i wanted to check whether 90 is uh, an even number yes it's an even number so if the remainder is zero it would be even uh, if it's one if it's, it's an odd number so this would be one use case of a uh, mod operator then we can also find out uh, power of a number so suppose if i wanted to know the value of uh, two square it would be two followed by two stars and two these two stars uh, mention the uh, power of a number the value would be four if I wanted to know the cube of two, two cube, it would be two followed by two stars with the value three and the value would be eight. So we can also find out uh, power of different numbers uh, using Python with two asterisk symbols. Uh, we can also find out the value of a complete expression. So for example, if I wanted to know what's two plus 10 into 10, plus 2 or 3 so it would be 105 uh, one thing which we can observe here is it's not going in order from left to right instead it is multiplying 10 with 10 first which is 100 and then adding the 2 which would be 102 and then adding the 3 which would be 105 uh, suppose we wanted to do in order so suppose we wanted to add these two things that is 10 and 2 and then multiply with 10 plus 3 then uh, we'll have to use uh, brackets since here it is following the board mouse rule we'll have to use brackets which would be like bracket open 2 plus 10 outside the bracket we would use the multiplication symbol again bracket open we'd use 10 plus 3 
and the answer would be entirely different that is 156 here what it is doing it is just adding 10 with 2 which is 12 and again in the, in the other bracket it is adding 10 plus 3 which would be 13 and finally python is multiplying 12 with 13 which is equal to 156 so this is uh, all for this uh, particular video uh, if you have learned something new please do like the video and please do subscribe to our channel and support us if you have any questions suggestions or uh, uh, any uh, feedback please do let us know in the comment section below uh, that's all for the video i'll see you in the next video thank you